Hi, are you interested in playing the latest Princess Peach Showtime a Switch game into your PC? Yes, this game is a Switch game, but it can also be played into your PC and it's run much better than the Switch. So for those who want to know this, then please do watch this guide. So first of all, what you need is that you will need to have a copy of all the three files that I have highlighted here in my desktop because they are really important. And also you will need to install an application called Ryujix. So I'm just going to open Ryujinx now. So this is how Ryujinx looks like. And for those who do not know, Ryujinx is a Nintendo Switch emulator. It can play any Nintendo Switch games into your PC as long as you have all of the three files here installed in Ryujinx. Without these files, Ryujinx will not be able to play any Switch game. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Ryujinx officially. And to do that is just open a browser, just type in Ryujinx emulator in Google search and hit search. The first result is Ryujinx.org and that is their official website. So go ahead and click on that. And now go click on the get started button here. And you can now choose on which device you want to install the Ryujinx. You can get uh, the Linux installer here. There are two versions and here for Mac. And your Mac should be in Mac OS 12 or later version in order for you to install Ryujinx emulator. And for those who are in Windows 10 and Windows 11, be sure that you download and click on this here. So since I have already downloaded and installed the latest build of Regions emulator in my PC, so I'm just going to skip on this part because the download and installation process for this is really easy to do and is really straightforward. So go ahead, click on the download button here and download it and install it into your PC now. So I'm just going to minimize this browser here and I'm just going to assume that you have already installed the latest build of Regions emulator. So go ahead, open it now. The latest build of Regions emulator as of recording this video tutorial is version 1.11228. 1 and once you have opened Regions emulator, it will be uh, does not look like this and it will be looks empty and that you will need to install some files in it so that it can run switch games so again these are the files that you need to install in Ryujinx so that you can run switch games so what are these files these files are the nintendo switch keys and the nintendo switch firmware both should be in version 17.0.1 in order for it to play versus speech showtime and the game should be in xei or nsp file format so that Ryujinx emulator will be able to boot up and play that game. Now, if you're asking me on how to get all of these files, the most legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console, which is fully modded and have installed a custom firmware in it, because if it has a custom firmware installed in it, that means that you can now fully access your Nintendo Switch system files. And once you have access on those, though, all you have to do is just look for the keys and the firmware file of the Switch, and then just transfer them into your PC. Now, in order for you to get the game, there's no other way around this, but you should purchase the game legally, own a physical copy of the game, wherein you have purchased it from a physical store. And once you have done that, you can now digitally back up that game into an XEI or NSP file format. So, for those who want to try out and don't own a Switch but want to play this game, and don't know where to get all these files, all you have to do, guys, is that you will scan this QR code here, into your QR code reader into your mobile phone so that you'll be redirected to the page where you can get a copy of all this free file. So be sure to check out all of the files that I have highlighted here in my desktop and be sure to get them and be sure to transfer them into your PC. And I'm going to assume now that you have already done that and that you have transferred them into your PC. Mine, I have put them into my desktop here for you to see clearly. And for you, you can put it anywhere into your PC as long as you know where they are. So open Regix emulator now, and it's time to install them. So go to file, go to open Regix folder, and then locate system folder. Then open the keys zip file in the desktop. And then all you have to do is just drag and drop or copy and paste these files into this folder here, just like that. And if this is your first installation, then this folder should be empty. Okay, so once done, close in this. Now the next step is to install the firmware file. Just go to tools, go to install firmware, install a firmware from XZI or zip file, then locate that firmware file and hit open. And it will say here that we'll need to install this firmware version now and hit yes, and it will install it. And it will say successfully installed, hit okay. You'll know that it is successful because right down here below, it will say system version, version 17.0.1, the same as the keys and a firmware. And your Switch games will be detected and 
it will show you the game icons of the game. So if you see a game that doesn't have a game icon, that means that you're using an outdated firmware or an outdated key. So be sure to only follow the QR code that we put in the screen to get the latest files to play Princess Peach Showtime in Reviewjinx. Now for the next step is that go to options, go to settings. This is how you optimize your Reviewjinx emulator so that there'll be no drifting, no crashes, black screens, and graphical glitches into your playthrough. So be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see here. So these are my settings for the general tab. The game directories is wherein you will store your Switch games. It's better that you store it in an SSD rather than an HDD because SSD is much faster but you can still store it and play it in your HDD just like mine here, but it's better with SSD. So it could be anywhere in your PC and you set it up here. Now go to input. It's better to use a Pro Controller or an Xbox or PlayStation Controller. Mine, I've used my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller here. Then if you have an Xbox or PlayStation Controller, connect them into your PC, map them up according to your liking. Put the dead zone for both left and right sticks. Just like here should be set in point twenty or 20% so that there'll be no drifting into your playthrough. So be sure to change this so that it will fix the uh, drifting issues with a controller. Now go to keyboard and hotkeys, uh, default settings here. System, you can change the system region, language, and time zone, and system time because there are some games that you want to change the dates so that it can progress. You can change it here. Once you're done, go to CPU. Really simple settings, so be sure to copy that. In graphics so these are my settings here the best uh, graphics API should be in Vulkan your preferred GPU should have a dedicated graphics card and then please do follow the checkboxes here my resolution scale is set in two times resolutions so that the game will look much sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution of the switch but if your PC can handle that then just revert back into 720p 1080p the native resolution of the switch but for me two times resolution is the best it's done go to audio really simple settings so be sure to copy them then if you want to play online just go to network and be sure to change the setting here and follow them once you've done that hit apply and hit ok congratulations your using some layer is now fully optimized to run and play any switch games such as princess beach showtime so a little bit of a disclaimer, I will not be able to show you guys a gameplay of this game running into my Regents emulator into my PC because we all know how strict Nintendo is and they do not support the Nintendo Switch emulation scene for PC. Just as of the recent, they have taken down Yuzu emulator, the first Nintendo Switch emulator ever, ever existed and they are gone now because Nintendo hate this kind of content. So that's why I hope you guys to understand. That's why I can't show you any gameplay at all so that my channel will not be taken down. My videos will not be taken down. But as long as you have followed all the steps that I've shown you in this guide, guys, you'll be able to play Princess Beach Showtime into your Regix emulator into your PC with no issues at all. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game, then please do leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as fast as I can. Thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye for now.